Hey, Pure Data is a visual patching language for audio and digital signal processing. It's open source software by Miller Paquette, the creator of Max MSP. I've sunk hours and hours into this Factorio-like environment for building custom electronic music instruments and audio effects. A lot of the algorithmic effects I use in my music are built from scratch in PD. Pure Data has always featured a stark, minimalist, black on white aesthetic. And after patching for hours, staring at bright white boxes, you may start to feel eye strain. Well, now there's a simple solution to that problem. Hidden away in the release notes for the latest version of PD is a note about a new colors feature. Yes, that means you can now change the three default colors from within the application itself. Of course, there have been many forks over the years enabling color theming of PD, but this is the first time it's been supported natively in the vanilla version. Let's take a look at how it works. To change these colors, we send a colors message to the PD receiver. We can do this easily with the built-in message box, which you can bring up with Control shift m For example, to use a basic dark scheme, we can send this message to invert the colors. The first argument is the foreground color, the second argument is the background color, and the third argument is the highlight color. The colors themselves can be specified by names such as black, red, and white. And you can get more control with hex-based colors specified like HTML. Now let's try a cool cyberpunk green on black. I've used a green for the foreground color, a dark gray for the background color, and a brighter green for the highlight color. We can also do an LCD style sepia look. I basically searched online for typical LCD colors to use here. So while this color system is perfectly usable, it's early days yet. There's a minor bug where patch cords are not colored correctly and default to black. That means they can appear invisible in dark themes until you've selected them and then deselected them again. The release notes also say, this is not yet incorporated into PD's preferences as it certainly should be. So for now, you'll have to use these internal messages to change colors. Finally, the IEM GUIs have a default background color of white, which I think is a mistake. Unlike other PD GUIs, these user interface elements are not transparent, but I think this default background coloring could be improved. If they don't explicitly have a color set, the IEM GUIs should probably take the background color setting for their own background to retain aesthetic consistency across the board. I think that's what users would expect. I'm sure these issues will be worked out in time, and we're very grateful to Miller and the other developers for this cool new feature. So that's Color Schemes in PD. Best of luck with your PD color scheme adventures, and thanks for watching.